commodity prices complicate the conduct of U.S. monetary policy, but they don't mean that we can't conduct our own monetary policy. Um, you know, com commodity prices in and of themselves, if not accommodated by the Federal Reserve, should have a temporary effect on prices. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be temporary because there's kind of two things go on when you have a commodity price shock. The first thing that goes on is what's known as a substitution effect. People face the higher price of commodities and other goods that prices have risen because of the commodities. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're produced with a lot of commodities. They substitute off to other goods. To the extent that there's substitute, this will moderate the upward price pressure. The other thing that goes on is not so benign. The other thing is known as an income effect. So all else constant, higher commodity prices kind of act like a tax on consumers' uh, purchasing power, mm -hmm. right? But this then, as long as their incomes are fixed or they're not rising, right, then there's a limit to the extent that commodity prices could go up. Mm -hmm. It's only if the Fed accommodates the commodity price rise that, um, then you have problems.